Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to another deck highlight on Legends of Runeterra. Today we have a somewhat risky but rewarding setup called Anivia Reanimator. The goal of this deck is to get as many copies of Anivia on the field by exploiting her last breath mechanic. How we do that is simple. Kill Anivia, she drops an egg and then revive her immediately. There are quite an assortment of cards from the Shadow Isles to pull this off. Some such cards are Mist's Call, Splinter's Soul, Chronicler of Ruin, and the Rekindler. The risk that comes with this deck is that you have to stall until you can pull off the combo. So early on it's nice to have cheap recyclable cards along with some removal. It's also a nice thing to have if you can ramp up your mana. So not only do you trigger Anivia's level up but also have enough resources on hand to deal with early threats and as well as stall to extend the game. Keep piling those recyclables, keep ramping and stalling until you can bring Anivia out. Oh, uh, just for reference, when I say recyclable cards, I mean units on the field that have insurance, like Hapless Aristocrat or Cursed Keeper. Once you can, don't be afraid to drop your main piece into the field, and don't worry too much about removal. Not many removal cards can deal with Anivia all in one go. Everything changes when she does make it into the battle. It's common for players to feel a sense of pressure and urgency to deal with champion units. So imagine being able to place multiple instances of a champion in just a short amount of time. Watch the magic as it unfolds. All those turns waiting, surviving, stalling are about to pay off. I really can't blame my opponent for wanting to get rid of that pesky bird. But I'm telling you now, that it's not gonna be easy. You lose one, you gain two more. That's what this deck is scary about. At this point late in the game, it's easy to take trades or take losses when, again, you know they'll all just come back. Now to surprise them with that extra mana to level Anivia. Alright, even with a huge board wipe like the Ruination, we are still not at a total loss because we still have utility in our hand to address the situation. Now that this duel draws to its conclusion, seeing the risks and the rewards of this awesome deck, let me know what you guys think. If there are a few points where I can improve on deck building or gameplay wise, let me know down in the comments. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.